Ooh, this shit still gives me goosebumps. That's fucking fire. That's how you know this shit fucking hits, boy. You nasty. Hey, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel and drop a like. Uh, if you want to show extra support, Patreon link is in the top description. Ruby reaction coming up next. What up, you nasties? It's been a while. It's a man behind the cam director, just in case you don't recognize me. You know, it's been a while. It's been a while since the end of volume eight. Uh, I know what you're probably thinking. You just ended volume eight. Nah, 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 nah. If you're on my Patreon, you would know I ended volume eight since July 2021, towards the end of July. Today is now March 2022. The volume eight OST came out about a month, month and a half ago, and my PC was broken. And I just couldn't record anything. So now I'm recording it for y'all, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, volume eight. Yo, Volume 8 gave me the vibes that I had been looking for since, like, Volume 3 through 4, right? Volume 6 picked up a lot. Volume 7, holy hell. Volume 8, we're coming to the almost damn near crescendo of malarkey. You know, our Queen Salem, Shawty, isn't coming out and flexing every muscle that she has. Cinder is trying to prove her worth and really trying to show she's the baddest one on the show. Ironically... After seeing a lot of the things that transpired in Volume 8, I truly believe that the relationship between Cinder and Salem could be Salem's saving grace. But at the same time, Cinder is way off the rails. She's with the shits. Um, everybody has gone through the gate. They're kind of stuck in vacuo. But I just realized I'm getting too much into a recap as if this was Volume 9. That's not what you're here for. No, 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 no. I know, I know what you're here for. You're here for the OST. So with that being said, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this OST. A lot of the music in the last volume was a little darker than I quite remember. So I'm expecting a lot of sad music, not as much pop, not as much funk from the 70s, you know, 80s, you know, that I like that funk. Give me that funk. Hit me on some horns, son. But I don't think that's what we're going to get. I think we're going to get a lot of synth, a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow. But I'm here for it. Um, with that being said, let's just make this fun. You haven't already. Drop a sub on the channel and drop a like. If you want to show some extra support because I do put the full thing on YouTube already, please go visit my Patreon. Maybe share this video with one of your friends. Link is in the top description. If you want to catch me on live on Twitch every Monday and Friday night, don't miss out. If you see my other videos on your homepage, please click on them and help me get blessed by the almighty algorithm. Because Lord knows, I really need it. I really, really need it. All right, uh, Ruby, Volume 8 OST is coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. I right, just open. Nah, this opening's fire, though. Hey, hey. Oh, not now. Nah, this shit's fire. I haven't heard this in, yeah, like nine months. It really was, too. That shit's fire. I don't know why. I'm waiting for this double jumps to kick in. Woo, this shit still gives me goosebumps. That's fucking fire. That's how you know this shit fucking hits, boy. Salem. This war with Salem. Ironwood. They show his face when they say that line, too. That part, they were talking about the gates.
Tell that to Hazel, bro. Oh man, oh that's not time out Ruby. Damn, I'm still thinking about that gate scene right now. At the end of Ruby. It just blows my mind. I'm remembering how hopeless the situation was at the end of Volume 8 right now. With like half the people stuck in vacuo, a bunch of people just getting falling through this gate at the bottom. The uncertainty, the pure chaos that Cinder caused. Holy hell. Mm -mm -mm. That vacuo side is tough. Never be a drummer. Hmm. Schmack. Fucking ads. Yo, they really went with death metal for most of this volume, it feels like. I know people are like, nah, this is just rock. But like, hearing the drums, how hard they're going in the background with the double pedals, I, I've always associated that more with like death metal, or heavy metal at least. No, not, not death metal. I think heavy metal would be closer. I just bump him. I wonder when did I hear this song? I like this chorus though. Hmm. It's like Chicken Little's theme song, The Sky's Falling, you know what I mean? Y'all yeah, remember Chicken Little? He was like scared the fucking sky was falling. This would be his shit. This would be on his playlist. You hear that? That's heavy metal. Oh, word? Oh, Except that which is this life is none left. 
Oh, that's fire! That's a bar! Oh, no! Nah. That nigga hit them two back-to-back -back bars! That was fire! No, no, no! The first, the first, it was like, oh, alright, that's cool. But then those last two bars, woo! Okay. Alright, Flynn! Look at me assuming it's Flynn. Because <laughs> he's rapping and he's a black guy. <laughs> oh, shit. What a riff to finish. Be strong and hit stuff. Oh, this is Nora. Hey, hey, hey. Hit me some island R and B, Nora. I knew she was I knew she was from the islands, boy. You don't get that thick without eating jerk chicken and rice. That's what YBR would say. Don't wait for Ren. Been there. Fuck if I know. A good ass question, man. I feel like the song's trying to call me out. Rat bastard. The fuck? Poor Nora. As long as she's still a functional character, I don't think there's anything wrong with the scars she took on. It's just that right now she's kind of nerfed because she took like an over overcharge. So I'd like to see her come back like some crazy ability to like overcharge, like discharge that motherfucker whenever she wants. And that'd be hot.
Oh, this Cinder song. Fuck her family. Scrub the dishes in the sink. No one said that you should think. Shine the silver, wash the clothes, and when you're finished, darn the socks, draw my feet. The fuck's drawing the socks, man? Fill my glass and rub my feet. Hurry up, you're so slow. You're no good. I hope you know that your life is of no use. And the truth is that no one's ever loved you. Fuck you. Peace up that mama. Peace her ass up. Day I've waited for the moment when I'd see your face and ready for that shit. All alone in crowded rooms I'm in. Complete my life is paused when you're not here. Though I walk this world, I am nowhere to be found. Every thought's of you, and for now. That's alright. I'll be just fine. I'm not concerned with sands of time. Shout out Prince of Persia. Nah, this motor part is fire. Wait, whose song was this for? Was this for Ruby and Penny or was this for Blake and Yang? Wait, who else is a couple? Not a couple couple. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, shippers. I'm sorry. Or is this Crow and Clover? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but for real, who's this song for? Because I'm having trouble with this one. No man lost, I wonder with no fate to go just aimless to you reappear. Oh, maybe this is Ospin and Salem story. <laughs> Disappear. Wait, was this for Ironwood and Winter? No, right? No, that's not right. As the days creep slowly by. But that's alright. I'll be just fine. I'm not. I really just can't figure it out right now. Who is it? Cause the treasure of my life is Maybe it's Maybe it's Emerald to Cinder. That would make sense too. This could be Emerald to Cinder. That that tracks, right? I feel like that tracks. Okay, maybe not. Or maybe. I feel like I should know this, but I just can't place it. 
It's I'm so stupid. This is Ren and Nora again. I just didn't think they'd get a second song. I'm so slow, bro. Gorgeous. You know, I spent three minutes speculating on these ships. Dumb, dumb. Your lips like midnight. Moonlight. There's no light. Another lonely day. <clears throat> That's a beautiful ass strong. It grows this point of view that wishes made on the stars. Wholesome as fuck. So here's my secret. At bedtime every night. I search the sky and hope to find the stars and send a light to me. The one thing I Ah, that's fucking stupid Q. I hate it here. Penny and Ruby is just so fucking wholesome, it's stupid. No. <laughs> Don't look at me! I had some... I was like, R30. See, it's too wholesome. I refuse to do it.
Mm. Boo! 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 Great. And that's the end. So that was volume eight OST. All in all, it was solid. Not my favorite OST, but I think it was one of my favorite opening songs. The first song, uh, the first song for every life, the 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 the, the literal like opening song. Yo, that shit smacks. Halfway through, I got those goosebumps. I was like, oh shit, I forgot how hard this shit goes. The other one that I like was Treasure. Treasure was nice. And Friend. Friend was wholesome. I said some weird shit, but Friend was wholesome. I did also like the Be, be Strong and Hit stuff. But that's more because I'm a Nora simp than anything. The song was okay. It was okay. I like, Again, like I said, y'all already know. If y'all made the Disco OST and you're watching this OST, y'all already know what I fuck with. Y'all already know I like the disco. You know, I like some of the R&B. You know, closer to rap and hip hop, you get the better, the more uncomfortable I feel. I actually like some of the rock and a lot of the heavy metal too. But some of the songs in this one were just, uh, you know, the themes. The themes were just extra dark and like, you know, man, kind of like I can use some of these shit. You know what I mean? I'm trying to party, but it it was solid. It did, it didn't break my top three in OSTs though. Definitely didn't bring my top three in OSTs. You know, y'all already know what I still fuck with. You know, um. But yeah, no, 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 it was good OST. It, it really is, and some of the songs, well, specifically for Every Life, hit so fucking different, yo. The truth also kind of, the truth, no, no, not the truth, not the truth. The truth was, the truth was, wait, what was the truth? No, that one was the one where uh, Cinder's mom, fuck her. Treasure, Treasure, I think For Every Life and Treasure were my favorite ones on this one. And then followed by Friend. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm gonna go with. But yeah, that's the end of Volume 8 OST review. Um, Volume 9 has been announced already at this point. I just don't remember if it's the end of 2022 or beginning of 2023. I think it's supposed to be slated for the end of 2022 because I was already pushed back two or three times. So yeah, listen, it's crazy to think I'm caught up on Ruby. I'm fully caught up on Ruby at this point in time. Everything that's been released, including the OSTs. So that means next time I see y'all on volume nine, first off, I don't know how I'm gonna look. Hopefully I look better than this, right? Second off, we don't know if it's gonna be this year or next year, but I hope I see you guys there. If y'all enjoy me, you really do. Yo, make sure you go follow me on Twitch, right? If not, catch me on IG. If not IG, just make sure you watch some of the other videos on the channel. Give it a try, give it a chance. Try some new anime out and, uh, you know, just so show some support and help me in almighty algorithm. If you want to join the Patreon, it's a link in the description below. First link, go show some love on the Patreon too. You know, just drop it, just drop it, or share the videos too. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the OST. I'm your man behind the cam, and as always, stay nasty, y'all. You nasty.